You know, I bought this really cool camera here a while back. One of them ones, GoPro or something like that. Because somebody was going to send me some stuff to make some screens out of. I was going to make a video out of it. Well, I was going to use that for this. And I never did charge the thing up, so I couldn't do it. So this is going to be a weird view of my regular cam. And what I did out of all the excitement yesterday is I didn't see the thumbnail to put something else on the back of these shirts. And y'all know I'm kind of the king of fixing shit. That's what the back of the shirt looks like. It's got both my logos on it. I put a locker tab on it. That's got myTGuys.com. But I have to put this quote on there. So when you're going to fix, find your center line. Get those lines coming up straight on the table. And then find you a place how far you need to pull down. Which for me is the top of the G and the S. And you can print that on the bottom of that shirt and it'd be relatively straight. Especially as many shirts as it is, I didn't decide to try to hand hold them. And as soon as I figure out how to run that GoPro thing, the next time the damn cops fill my place up looking for shit, I'm going to put that damn thing on and I'm actually going to start being a spoof reporter like I threatened to be there for a little while about the way that they do us anymore. They can show up and do anything they want to do. It was 40 degrees here this morning which was cold especially out of all the 85 degree days we've had. I had two guys, two sheriff deputies, that was going in and out of my goat fence on the opposite side of the fence that things normally happen. And you know, I've got this pack of dogs here to hopefully protect me from all this shit. Well, with the dogs, seeing those two guys in dark jackets zipped up in dark pants acting the way they were they tore three holes in my fence to get out to get to them because I mean that is what I pay these dogs for then after I run over there and tried to calm the dogs down Anybody that believes even a tame dog is not a wild animal deep down inside is, is wrong. My own dogs killed one of my $500 milk goats. And I'm serious as a heart attack about thinking about making them pay me for that goat. But I'm going to have to think about it over the weekend and go down to a couple of the ones that I know and talk to them about it because as screwed up as the court system is nowadays, they probably give me the $500 for the goat, not even to get it into court. But man, I'm, I'm pissed about people thinking they can do any goddamn thing they want to do and it's okay. That's just not the way it is. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And by God, that's not the way it's going to be around here anymore. I'm going to add more, one more thing to this. This is going to be like a video poll. How many of you guys think that unless, I mean, unless they're there after you, if they're going to come in your place and do anything they want to, that you shouldn't be notified first. I mean, 
unless they've got some kind of law against like what would it be called D U W P T drinking while printing teas. I mean, I don't break any laws anymore. But man, I'm mad about losing that goat. And like I said, there was about 30 or 40 of them for six hours yesterday on the place doing anything they wanted to. And then when they showed up today, with it being cold, I mean, they look like ninjas. If you don't think that's going to tear up your animals, you know, they broke three places in my fence to get out. My dogs hadn't been out in two years. And I'm still fixing places in my fence. I lost my goat. And this is all because some other asshole screwed up and run through my place trying to get away. I've got subdivisions completely around me and 110 acres here for them to hide on. I mean, a handful of outbuildings and everything. We can't keep these subdivision kids off the farm. And we've got one place down here where the stream is with a 100-foot sheer cliff that somebody's going to fall off of and get killed. And that's going to wind up being our fault from what the lawyers are telling me. Things are going to change, guys. I mean, people's going to start respecting other people's things stay off of other people's places or people like me are going to get tired of it. That's all I'm going to say about it.